Hello, I am Kristen. And I'm Rachel. And this is So I'm Watching Outlander, season one, episode five, four, four, four? I think. Yeah. Episode four, The Gathering. Yay. Yay. Love this episode. Shit is starting to happen. Yes. I'm it, excited. It is. And uh, th- th- I think this was like the first episode where like I mm-hmm. still got a little nervous. I was yeah. like, Ooh, yeah. Ooh, okay. It's so good. Mm-hmm. So basically, um, the Mackenzies are having a gathering, which is like where all the Mackenzies from all over Scotland come and they like pledge their fealty to the laird. Mm-hmm. Um, and just a fucking party. Just and like they rage. Just, <laughs> they rage for like who knows how many days. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do like some of the gatherings. Like they, there's one or two gatherings that they make it to once they're in America. Mm-hmm. And those are super fun. Yeah. But yeah, I love this episode despite Claire still being. So annoying. She is the fucking worst right now. Just stay. Just hang out. Yeah. You'll love it. I promise. And it's like you already (laughs) kind of do. So just lean all the way in, ma'am. I get it. I I mean, I get both both of her sides of it. She wants to go home. She wants to go home to her husband. All these people are very suspicious of her. She's (sighs) just not ready yet. She's also not very good at it. She's so bad at like, it. Like when in the very beginning, when she's like showing that she's left bread, uh, breadcrumbs for herself, she is leaving stark white ribbons yeah. all throughout the forest. You don't think that looks suspect as fuck? <laughs> like, you know, they have every right to suspect her of yeah. something because she's being sneaky. She's being super sneaky. That's the kind of stuff. That's all the stuff. And then especially, I mean, it all obviously works out in the end or whatever. But like, that's the part of this episode that annoys me the most is that because of her idiocy, she puts Jamie in this terrible position of having to like pledge fealty while also not because he like is not a Mackenzie and he is actually lord of his own Mm -hmm. like clan. Mm -hmm. And so that's the kind of shit where I'm just like. You're killing me, Claire. Yeah. <laughs> killing me. Yeah. And she's just like, oh shit, this is all my fault. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. And, and I even love- <laughs> Murta is like, yeah. yeah, bitch, it is. What yeah. are you expecting? I know. It's so great. And but and I love that they just give it to her yeah. because it's like she deserves every bit of shit rubbed yeah. in her face. But I do also love that this is the moment where you realize how smart Jamie actually is mm-hmm. because he's able to like pledge allegiance to call him without like, actually pledging allegiance, like yeah. full allegiance. Like, as long as I'm here, I'm mm-hmm. yours, but I can't because I got my own thing going. <laughs> and I just love it. It's very fun. Yeah, well, and that's the part that really got me, like, a little stressed, even though yeah. I I knew how everything was going to play out. Um, but because everyone just starts drawing or, like, putting their hands on their knives Literally and swords... Everyone. And like you said, they're like, everyone's just ready to stab him. Literally everyone is like, when can we stab Jamie? Like, <laughs> yeah. when is Jamie stabbing time on God. the gathering schedule? Yeah. And it's just like, how on earth is he going to get himself out of yeah. this? And it just proves how smart Jamie yeah. is. And he's so capable and like able to really toe that line, mm-hmm. which is great. Mm-hmm. Because I mean, and the work that Colm and Dougal are doing on their faces, like mm-hmm. you can really, really see that they're like, Shit is very fraught at this moment. Yeah, and I think because neither one of them wants to kill their sister's son, Mm -hmm. you know, their sister's only living son, Mm -hmm. and their dead sister's only living (laughs) son at that. Like, no one wants, and neither one of them want to do that, but I can see them being like, well... This is going to put me in a tough spot. Yep. I'm going to have to let them kill you. If yeah. This goes the wrong way. Mm-hmm. And then also, because like at the end, like Dougal is properly pissed about it because when they're doing the hurling later, Dougal is like, I'm going to beat your skull in <laughs> with this stick if it's the last thing I do. And to that point, are these men just all walking around with concussions 24 seven concussions and then just like head to toe bruising like they were Jamie got hit in the kidney like four times yeah and I'm like are you just constantly peeing blood <laughs> like what are we doing here like this sounds yeah. terrible yeah and just are, are you just always internally bleeding too like how are you all just not dropping dead I don't know at all points just like bleeding from the mouth yeah punctured lungs probably yeah. just, whatever rough <laughs> rough the scene I really love in this episode is the one with um Claire and Gillis mm-hmm. in the surgery. It is so much <laughs> subtext. 
Yeah. It is the subtextiest talk mm-hmm. ever. Because I think this is where Galus starts to suspect. Oh, I think this more or less... I think it more confirms Confirmed. her Confirmed, okay. Yeah. Because she just is like, is your husband dead or not? Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's just like, Claire, also... Work through that stuff on your own. Don't yeah. be like, oh, it's more complicated than that. And it's like, no, it's not. No, it really isn't. It's, he's dead. Yeah. If he's not yet born, he's not alive. Yeah. So you're just, you can say he's dead. Mm-hmm. So that I really love. And then I, there are still more constant. I didn't realize the first time I watched it, I think, how how often Galus just talks about dosing her husband. Re- it's With- constant. Every conversation they have, she's like, I, I throw some of this in Arthur's tea sometimes. <laughs> yes. And it's just like, Arthur's tea is like an entire pharmacy at this yeah, point. Yeah, just a cocktail of night-night. Oh, yeah. Night-night or like, I'm sure she's feeding him Poison. stuff so he can't get it up and <laughs> she's 100% poisoning him. Yeah. So. And just the poor man <laughs> is just constantly farting. Yeah. <laughs> And I love that she just telling people too. She was like, God, he farts something awful. Yeah. Especially when he drinks port. (laughs) It makes him fart. So that that conversation is really great. I just love the relationship between Galus and Claire. And I even I find Galus very fascinating the whole time. Mm -hmm. Like super interesting the entire time. She's one of the better characters on this show and in the books. And then I guess that only leaves the last thing, which is the boar hunt. Mm-hmm. Although we could get into the Rupert and <laughs> what the hell's his name? Rupert. Angus. Angus. Yeah. And they're trying to like, both of them are trying to get the one girl and then she makes them draw straws for it. And then Rupert gets, or no, Angus gets her. And then later she sees Angus and Rupert is with the girl and mm-hmm. he's like, eh, yeah, <laughs> whatever. Mm-hmm. So funny. They're also still meant to be watching her. She's trying to slip away from them all the time. They're being real babies about not being able to be at the gathering Mm -hmm. because she's like making them go on chases with her and the kids. Super funny. But the boar hunt. I mean, I remember (laughs) in the book, it was like particularly hellish. Yeah. Uh, It's pretty hellish when you have to look at it. I I can imagine just like a puncture wound, but there's like guts. Yeah, and to the level of how much this man's guts are out of his body, I mean, did the boar jump on top of him and was like, puncture, rip, like, let's so, pull this shit out? <clears throat> Essentially, yes. Ugh. That's how that, like, uh, well, you never really watched Game of Thrones. No. That's how, um, the, I mean, spoilers, I guess, for season one of Game of Thrones. That's how um, the king dies. He gets gored by a boar in the stomach. And it's like, yeah. So they've got these, like, the first of all, the tusks go, like, up. They're uh-huh. like this. So that's how he got scratched on his leg. It uh-huh. it did that, and he fell, and then it got him in the stomach. I'm sorry. If what I'm trying to eat <laughs> yeah. can actively kill me, yeah. no thank you. Mm-hmm. I will stick yeah. to duck and deer. Yeah. Well, a deer could kill you. Yeah, but, I mean, you can be far away enough yeah. from the deer. I mean... A boar is not big enough for you to be that far away, I feel like. Sure. You could also just kill a lady deer, and that would be... they. Then they can't ram you with their antler. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think the whole boar hunt is kind of stupid. It's like really... They're just, and Claire is rightfully shaming all of the men who get injured. Mm-hmm. She's like, serves you right. You're going to have a limp. Get out of my sight. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I... But I like what we get... From it with her and Dougal's relationship, because I really, you know, he says to her, you've seen men die in battle or in in violence. violence. Yeah. Yeah, Which I think is really great because Mm -hmm. he's their their relationship is just so fascinating because he tries to assault her the night before. Yeah. And then after she was already almost assaulted by three men. God. It's just, it's trash. But see, this is why you have to marry Jamie so that he can protect. Right, exactly. Frank is not going to do anything. No. No, I mean, he might tap into that like blackjack of it all. Well, that that has to be a family trait. He does. We see it at one point. Not Mm -hmm. with Claire, but we do see it at one point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I am with you. I think the, what that scene does for her relationship with Dougal is really interesting because it, it's like. It's not that he disliked her before, but he was very suspicious. And now he, like, at least has sort of a respect for her. Yes. Because which, she's good at healing. Mm-hmm. And she, like, understood what Jordy needed as he lay dying. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, 
unexpectedly, obviously. And so I also really like that. And I love that she didn't question it when uh, Dougal released the tourniquet. Mm -hmm. Because he was like, it'll, they both knew like what was going on. And he was like, well, it'll be nicer if he just bleeds out. Yeah. And I love the whole thing. And I mean, what a compliment to get a personal thank you from the war chieftain. Oh, for sure. I mean, that is a hand yeah. that is equivalent of a Paul Holiday handshake. Oh, sure. <laughs> and I do love the moment where the, the guy who's dying, Jordy, he asks if he if Dougal had sex with his sister <laughs> when they were like in the in sometime in the past. And he's like, oh, I did. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like super did. And he, he says you always could charm the the lassies. And I'm just like, yeah, he could still do it. Oh, 100%. Graham. Hundred percent. Nick Tavish is like a daddy. If there was really one. I just so Scottish fun. daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I love him so much. Yeah. I mean, I'm like here for Jamie and Jamie is the person I'm here for. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm like if only you were such a bastard sometimes. He is pretty, pretty much a bastard. Yeah. There's like I, I mean, there's like most of the men in this show could get it yeah because i like ian yes i do like Ian, and i like well i prefer i like roger a little better in the books same he's a little he's he's whiny in I, the show. I don't mind richard rankin but also it's the same thing where it's like his masculine sensibilities are easier to read than to hear come out of a human man's mouth yeah on this show that is generally very feminist mm -hmm. <laughs> and mm -hmm. i'm like Get out of here. Yeah. What the hell are you thinking uh, yeah. of? How are these like 1740s Highlanders no. respecting women more? <laughs> Assaulting aside, but I mean yeah. like, come on. <laughs> like, I don't I don't understand how Please. this works. Please. Yeah. And that's just, that's all also, also leaving aside Murta, who is just Bless. I think he's my favorite. I think Murta is just my favorite. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Murta, we also get um a view of Diana Galbadon. We do. In, yeah, in she's on the um She's on the like balcony and mm -hmm. with Claire and she and Mrs. Fitz have a little back and forth. Debt. And she's like, mm, it looks really clean in here. And Mrs. Fitz is like, mm, you wore that dress to the last gathering. <laughs> I love it. Just awesome. It's so good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's pretty much it. At the end of the episode, Dougal comes and tells Claire that she's going on a trip with them. Mm -hmm. And thus begins our two more episode countdown until the best episode of the whole series to date. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my god i can't wait i can't wait Woo. no and i and i love too that claire is just like well where am i going and, and like is asking him questions yeah. i mean why not just be like oh sure okay yeah whatever. like sweet sounds good just like casually work in how close will we be to craig nadoon mm -hmm. i need to go there yeah so there's like, an herb that i've only <laughs> seen there and i need to go there yeah I mean, there are ways to do this why are we better at this already i don't know i just She's so bad. Again, because it will <laughs> never happen to us. I know. We're too prepared. Sad. We're too prepared yeah. for it. Yeah, so it'll never it. happen. Yeah, we want it way too much. All right. Well, we're going to go watch them collect rents all across the Highlands. Yeah, and Jamie just constantly gets to take his shirt off. We'll be right back. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>